Hi there, my name is Prakar and you are watching Tech Now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe and press the notification icon below. In my earlier video, we had discussed the introduction to Raspberry Pi. If you haven't watched that video yet, do click on the link below. So today we are going to talk about how to set up the Raspberry Pi the easiest way possible. Step 1. Components required. Before starting, ensure that the following components are available with you. Raspberry Pi USB power charger Ensure that the charger has a minimum 3 ampere power supply for Raspberry Pi 4 and 2.5 ampere power supply for Raspberry Pi 3. The charger cable Use a good quality cable for minimum voltage drops. SD card I would recommend to use Samsung Evo Plus grade class 10 SD card. Step 2 First we need to prepare the SD card for use. The important point to note is that Raspberry Pi supports FAT32 format only. Thus the SD card up to 32 GBs can be directly formatted using the standard Windows format tool whereas SD card greater than 64 GBs need to be formatted using GUI format tool. If you do not have this tool, you can download the tool from the link below. Step 3. Select the Raspbian image file to be downloaded from the Raspberry Pi site. Find the link below. Download the Raspbian Pi Lite for the CUI and Raspbian desktop for the GUI version. The desktop version is more core hungry OS. Now, burn the downloaded Raspbian image using the Win32 Disk Imager. You can download it from the link below. After the image is burned, do not reformat the card. Step 4. Now we need our Pi to be connected to the internet. So we will add the Wi-Fi details. Find the link below to download the wpsapplicant.config file. Copy this file to the boot directory of the SD card. Next, we need to enable the SSH. To do so, go to the root directory and create a file named SSH without any extension. Step 5. Install the SD card into a Raspberry Pi and plug your Pi to the power source. Now wait for the green LED to be stable and wait for the installation to complete. Step 6. Now, to get access to the Pi, install PuTTY and VNC on your computer. You can find the download link below. Step 7. To connect to our Pi, we need to find out the IP of your Raspberry Pi. You can use IP tools or alternatively, you can find the IP of the Raspberry Pi using the router. Step 8. Run PuTTY on your system. Add the IP details in your PuTTY and connect with the following credentials. The default username and password for the Raspberry Pi is Pi and Raspberry. Step 9. In the login screen, type sudo raspi dash config and then enable the VPN by going to the interfacing VPN and enable. Step 10. Now open VNC and login using the IP number. Step 11. Now we need to ensure that our Raspberry Pi is up to date. You can use the following two commands for the same. sudo apt dash get update and sudo apt dash get disk upgrade step 12 sometimes we may observe that while connecting the raspberry pi to the monitor screen a black border is seen to fix it we have to go to the config.txt file and we have to remove the hash in the disable over scan button we can save and exit step 13 in case you need to rotate the display of your pi you can go to the config.txt and add display underscore rotate is equal to one you can use one two three for the different orientations possible Save and enter. Goodbye and thanks for watching.